Hey everyone, my name is Katie and I work for HowToBecome.com, the UK's leading career and educational experts. This video is for the LNAT and more specifically it's how to register for the 2017-2018 LNAT admissions. So are you looking to take the LNAT? Well, this video is full of information on how to register for the LNAT as well as advice on what it is used for and how you can best prepare for it. The LNAT, or Law National Admissions, uh, Law National Aptitude Test, sorry, is an assessment to try and establish whether you are suited to an undergraduate law course. It's designed to assess your abilities and decide if a law degree is a good suit for you. As law is a very popular degree of choice, many universities look at the LNAT as a way of narrowing down the applications and finding students who would be well suited to the field. It is taken alongside all of the other usual qualifications such as UCAS and academic qualifications. The LNAT is not a test of your knowledge of the law. So how do I register? The LNAT is for those wishing to apply to any of the following universities and embark upon an undergraduate degree in law. So the University of Bristol, University of Durham, Glasgow, the King's College, University of Nottingham, University of Oxford, SOAS University of London, UCL Faculty of Laws. It also applies to two non-UK universities, so Singapore University of Social Sciences and the IE Law School. Although it is not mandatory to take the LNAT, it will serve as a supplement to your existing application and in many cases strengthen your chances of securing a place at university. So what does the LNAT consist of? The LNAT is split up into two parts, a multiple choice section and an essay. The multiple choice section is based on passages of text. Candidates will be asked to read certain passages and will then be asked to answer sets of multiple choice questions reg regarding what they have just read. This serves as a way of testing comprehension skills. The test is taken on a computer and marked by the computer. The score given at the end of the test is your LNAT score. The next section calls for candidates to write an essay. There is a list of three subjects to choose from. Although this section of the exam is not assessed by the test centre and won't impact your LNAT score, it gives an opportunity to demonstrate key skills that will become incredibly useful in a law degree. Things such as constructing arguments and coming to a convincing conclusion are crucial in this field. The results of your LNAT test as well as your essay are then accessible by the universities that participate in the scheme. They use along with your other qualifications to present a sound case as to why you would be a great candidate for a law course. So what is it testing? As we mentioned earlier, the LNAT is not a test of your knowledge of law. Rather, it serves to test the kinds of skills that would be required to succeed on an undergraduate law course. LNAT describes the test as one of aptitude rather than just of educational achievements. They say it is a way of finding students with the right skills and approach without merely focusing on academic qualifications and personal background. LNAT describe the test as assessing the following skills, so comprehension, interpretation, analysis, synthesis, induction and deduction. So do I need to revise? Given the way in which the LNAT is designed, i.e. not specifically knowledge based, there is not a huge amount of revision you can do. However, the website does have a few practice LNAT tests and sample essays which you can click on the link now for some examples. These allow candidates to get a feel for the length of the test as well as the style of questions that will be asked. They also have a section of useful hints and tips for the LNAT to help guide you in the right direction. So when do I take it and how do I register? For the September-October entry into university of any year, the registration and booking process for LNAT opens on the 1st of August of the previous year. Actual testing commences on the 1st of September every year. 
There is a two-step registration process using an online registration system. Firstly, you must set up an online account and fill out your details. Secondly, once your account has been fully set up, you will be sent an email by LNAT confirming your account. You will then be able to book and pay for your test online. If you require special arrangements, LNAT advise that you should register and set up an account online but not book your test online. Instead, you must fill out an examination access requirements form. The test costs £50 to take in the UK, EU and £70 if being taken outside of the EU. There are, there are LNAP bursaries and vouchers available to those who are struggling to cover the cost of the test. You will need to fill out application forms for these. Okay, so that's my brief video on the uh, registration process of the LNAP. If you do have any further questions, feel free to drop me a message below this video and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and share the video with all of your friends. Thanks for watching everyone and I wish you all the very best in your LNAT.